today we are going to start with the MPLAB tutorial how to use MPLAB software this MPLAB software is used for uh, writing programs for PIC microcontrollers so we'll see the MPLAB software MPLAB is IDE IDE stands for integrated development environment so it has inbuilt simulator inbuilt editor inbuilt assembler linker everything so before uh, writing a project new project uh, we have to follow some steps so first step is click on project then click on project wizard after that click on next then select the proper device for which you want to write the code then click on next after this uh, it will ask for the tool suit so make sure that all the tool suits are present if any of the tool suits is not present then there will be a cross mark in front of it so right now we have all the tool set so you can click on next now here uh, it will ask to uh, give the location for saving the project so click on browse and uh, make a folder of your name and there you can save your project right so give any name to your project no extension required it is already present here dot mcp so no extension is required here so click on save now click on next next and finish so once you click on finish the project is now built and now you can start writing your pro program or code now for writing program or code uh, we have to use a template file which is inbuilt inside the software so that template file is available in C drive so first of all we'll click on open file now when, s when you click on that open file a new window will appear saying open now go to my computer C drive program file then in this you have to go to the folder named microchip this is it microchip so click on this next you will go to the folder mpasm suit next go to template now since we want uh, to write a code uh, so we must have a code template so go to code and now here you can type here the IC name that is 16F877 right now the, there are two possible files that is 16F877A and 16F877temp.asm right so select any one of these depending on the IC which is there on your kit so I'll select this one and click on open so once you click on open the file will be open in the editor window so this is that template file so first part is the comments and the actual file starts from this line onwards so list p equal to 16f877a and so on right so here uh, this is the configuration word and these are the header files so in this configuration word for our kit we are having a crystal oscillator high speed crystal oscillator so you need to modify this entry here here instead of rc oscillator we have to write hs oscillator that stands for high speed oscillator high speed crystal oscillator next uh, the remaining things are same no need to make any changes here so uh, this is the uh, thing that is used for uh, assigning name for a particular location and this this code is for uh, saving the context context saving means what when an interrupt occurs the value from the status register and any other uh, program counter or the working register will be stored on the, the some memory and then when we return from the interrupt service routine the values will be again restored so for that purpose this uh, code is written if you want to write the interrupt service routine then you can write it here in between this space so you can go on writing your interrupt service routine in this space right. 
next here is the main program so from this location onwards you have to write the main program so whatever program you want to write you can write here so I have one demo program so I will paste it here so this program is for generating a square wave on one of the port pin that is port D okay. so once I have written my program I have to now save that program but before that make sure that you save the file with some other name because this file is the template file original template file which is present in the C drive so you have to save this file at uh, by some other name in your folder so go to your folder so here I can give any name to my file for example square dot asm now here you have to give extension as dot asm and then click on save so once you do that now you can see that the name here is also changed and the drive is also changed so this file is saved in now your folder now next thing what I have to do is I have to add this file to the source group so here is the folder for adding the source file so ASM file is the source file for our project so right click on this and click on add file select the file and click on open so once you do that you can observe that your file is being added to this folder now next thing is you have to build your project so for building the project we have this option so if you click on this the project will be built so once the uh, project is built you can observe this in the output window if there are any errors those errors will be mentioned in this output window so right now there is no error so I am getting here build succeeded so once you do that next thing is you can start debugging your program now the debugger available here is first of all you have to select that debugger go to debugger select tool and select MPLAB simulator this simulator is the inbuilt simulator present in the software so click on this so once I click on this I will get these additional buttons for debugging my program so since this program is for generating a square wave we have to observe that square wave on some of the internal tool that is a analyzer or oscilloscope so for those tools uh, we have to go into view then we have a simulator logic analyzer so click on this a uh, logic analyzer will appear here now next thing is I have to configure this uh, logic analyzer by clicking on this channel so whichever pin you want to see so you can select that pin and add to that oscilloscope so since the square view generated is on uh, on port D so I will select any pin from port D for example port D 0 click on add and click on ok so once you do that your uh, pin is now added to this oscilloscope or logic analyzer so now you can start your program so if I click on this run what will happen the program will run in the background and if you click on pause it will stop and the waveform will appear here now to zoom this we can click on this zoom button and click on the axis and then click on plus so to zoom the waveform you have to click on this uh, x axis and then uh, press the left arrow so with this you can um, zoom your waveform so this is the waveform available now if you want to measure the uh, frequency you have to click on this cursor so two red lines will appear here so one of the red line you have to place at the beginning of the waveform and the other one must be placed at the end of the first cycle so 
here the first cycle ends so here you will get a reading of 512 so this 512 is nothing but the number of clock pulses that are uh, passing during this time of uh, time period of one waveform so from that you can find out the actual frequency of this square waveform so this is about uh, use of the software for uh, writing program to pick controller and you can also have one more facility called as a single stepping so that can be done by using this single stepping button this is used for executing a single instruction at a time if you want to come out of any loop then you have to use step over uh, if you want to skip any loop then you have to use step over and if you want to come out of any loop then you have to use step out this is reset Th once you click on this the controller will get resetted now few more things are there uh, in this view window you have different uh, e, p e square prom memory locations you can view pick has inbuilt e square prom so you can view the contents of that memory in addition to that you have different file registers file registers is nothing but the ram memory which is present in the pick controller so if you want to view any contents you can do that by selecting the file registers window from view menu next if you suppose want to uh, see the program memory then that facility is also available here next suppose if you want to see some special function registers then that is also available in SFR window so you can view the contents of all the special function registers which are there in pick controller you can also have the hex value decimal value binary value of all these SFRs so all the things are possible so these are the uh, things that you can view uh, by using this view menu so if you want to uh, keep a watch on a particular uh, SFR then you can select the watch window and add the SFR here and only that value can you can be uh, it can be monitored so this is about the MPLAB software and it's used for writing the program for PIC controllers. Thank you.